Today's video is a continuation of my series that I've been doing 12 habits in 12 months in 2019. And so I'm going to go ahead and link the playlist below so that you guys can go back and watch the ones I've done already, especially the first one. If you haven't watched that, it'll give you a good idea of why I'm doing this and what I'm doing for the other months of 2019. So today's video, I am going to focus on getting started with a prayer slash gratitude journal. So if you are not a person of faith and don't want to do a prayer journal, that's fine. This All of this can be translated into a gratitude journal, which we all can absolutely embrace and want to do. So let's get into uh, how I got started. I'm going to show you three different ways. One is going to be using just small little ones like this, and I'll show you where I got the, these. I'm going to show you how I did it on my phone, which I'm recording on right now, so I can't show you my phone. But I went ahead and I came up with a system to help you remember to pray for certain things throughout the month. And then I also started a system on my iPad. And so I'm going to show you how I used my iPad, which is an iPad Pro, and a way of journaling through that. So some of this is technical and some of this is extremely easy. So let's get into it. I got these at Michael's and they were just a three set. This one's just a blank you know, nothing's in it, just blank pages. I didn't really use this one at all. And I know they don't look like prayer or anything like that. If you guys can find something like that, that's fine. I didn't really care about the outside. I only cared about what was inside it. First, this is just a calendar. And after that, it's broken down by the week and then daily within the week. And then this one is a true bullet journal type. If you guys can see, it's little dots. And that's kind of your grid to use um, throughout it and I'm going to show you how I use that. So the first way is just a calendar and I'm not going to show you guys what I did and how I set up mine for like my actual prayers because obviously that's private. So I'm going to just show you how I would set up May and how I am setting up May. So this is just obviously a calendar and what I put on this is just important days. This is an event I'm um, planning and implementing um, at my work. So it's a massive event I'm in charge of. So obviously I need prayer for that. Mother's Day, obviously that would be praying for your mother. Memorial Day, praying for men and women who we've lost throughout the years. And my husband's and my anniversary is on the 23rd of May. So just some important dates within there. This is not a calendar for me to keep track of what's happening in my life at all. After that is the days of the week. And so as you can see, I just went ahead and put in each day. Now this calendar I do not like. I will just tell you right off the bat. I don't like it's a grid of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It just totally screwed me up. I kept writing it as Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday and it doesn't work that way as you guys can see so I don't know how many times I wrote the numbers wrong before this so that was crazy but this is a really easy way very very simple way for you to start journaling and what you can do is when you get to the day of that week so this would be this coming Monday is just bullet point things that you're praying for the people you're praying for you don't need to write details. You can if you want, but you would need to have a much bigger space if you're going to pray for more than one thing. But it's a very simple way for you to end the day or start the day or whenever it is that you spend some time praying about certain people or certain things. If you are not the praying person and if you just want to do a gratitude journal, this is a very simple approach to just write down the things that you are grateful or thankful for. The next one I used was the bullet type, the one with just the little dots on. So you would write down the days of the month going down the page and then list out the people that you pray for. So I started out by listing my family members. So each day of the week, I'm sorry, each day of the month is obviously written down and then I broke down all my family members and I just made sure it could all fit into one month. So I would be sure to cover every family member within that month. Now I didn't write down last names as you can see because I obviously need to be private here and people don't want me to have that plastered all over the internet. But obviously I will write down last names when it's just for me to see. 
The next one would be friends. And I broke it down again, one through 31, and wrote down all my friends. And again, I just wrote down first names here, but I would do last names. And then I started, I continued and wrote, started writing down more. And I even have more to fill in. And then I have ministries and starting down ministries that I'm praying for. My church, this place I work, um, just different ministries that, or missionaries that I'm praying for. And this is a nice portable way. I can put this in my purse. I can put it in my car. And so if I'm going to get in the car and pray on my way to work, so I can open it up and say, okay, today is May 1st. And I'm specifically praying for my husband. Now I will say, I pray for my immediately family members daily. And so I don't necessarily write it down. But I did put my husband and my kids in here only because on these days, I pray much more involved for them, very specifically. And it's just a way for me to really spend some extra time praying for them. But of course, I always pray for them throughout the day. Another thing that you can do is set it up in your reminders. So your reminders are right here. And this is on an iPhone. I'm sure on Android there are other things. I'm not sure what they are. I only know iPhone. <laughs> so you would set up a folder. And this is called prayer. You can see I set one up for Doug, but I'll show you how to do this. It's actually quite easy. Okay, so I'm going to hit the plus sign here. And I'm going to write Rachel. I need to press on the little I. So I want it to remind me on a day. So I'm going to push this over to that and it's going to set an alarm. I'm going to push this and I want it to set. My husband is May 1st, so Rachel needs to be May 2nd. So change this and bring it up to May 2nd. And I want it to remind me at 7 a.m. That is the time I get in the car and so to like leave every morning. So I'm going to set it for 7 a.m. and that way I'll know but then I want it to repeat every month on the second of the month. So I'm going to hit repeat every month, but I'm going to hit custom. And I want it to hit each second of the month. And so I push the second. That's going to tell it to go every day of the, um, every second of the month. And then just go back. And then you will see, I hit done that Rachel is set and then I can keep going. Now, obviously this is going to take me some time to go through that entire list, but the beauty of this is once it's done, it's just done and it'll just keep repeating and you'll always be reminded who to pray for. So the last way, and this is the way I'm using the most, is to use bullet journaling, but digital bullet journaling. So first of all, let me push this aside and show you. I have an iPad Pro and then I have this. This is an iPencil and a lot of you guys have seen this, but um, I just started this, I don't know, about six months ago I got this. And this is kind of a game changer when it comes to journaling in general or even just planning for me. I love this thing because it acts like a regular pencil, but the very perfectionistic person in me makes it so everything looks pretty. So let me bring my iPad back in here and I use a program called GoodNotes. And so that's down here. Okay, so I'm going to go over here and bring in my journal. I got this journal off of Etsy from a, pro, uh, from a shop called Boho Berry. I'm going to link it below. Um, so obviously if this is not, if you guys are not interested in this kind of thing, you can do this on a paper journal. So everything I'm showing you here can be used for a paper journal. It just can't be used. It can't be maneuvered obviously the same way, but I'm going to go ahead and bring this up. So the first is showing you, this is just the front of my journal and there's where I got it. It's called Boho Berry Papery and it's really cute. She does a really good job, but there are so many different kinds of digital journalings out there, journals I should say out there. So shop around on Etsy. It's just amazing what they have there. But this is a true, just regular um, calendar kind of thing. If I want to bring this in and look at, there's January, some things that happened in January. There's March, things like that. But what I want to show you is how I use this for my, specifically my prayer journal. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in 
May. And again, I'm showing you what I will do for the following month. So this again is just showing you some of the details, some of the things that are happening here is Mother's Day is going to happen, our anniversary, Memorial Day, although that's not Memorial Day. That's funny that that's on a Saturday. Memorial, oh, it says weekend. Silly me. Memorial Day weekend starts on that Friday, but that just helps me to pray. If you guys have somebody in your life that their birthday is this month, and I haven't filled in our birthdays and everything in for you know extended family, but you could go ahead and put in their birthdays on that month. So then the next day is set up very much like this. It looks kind of the same thing as this paper way of doing it, but it, it is in digital form. And so I've set this up. This is the Monday coming up soon. And I broke it down to what I'm first of all thankful for. So this just says, thank you, Lord. And then it says, praise to the Lord. And then my prayers. And so this is my way of, first of all, doing gratitude, thanking the Lord for the things that I have in my life or what I'm grateful for that's happened. Praise to the Lord. I lot, sometimes I'll write down a Bible verse something that's just a just a way of praising God and then my prayers and obviously I would just write down little bullet points of things that I'm praying for and so this won't happen ahead of time this will happen on the day of so while I'm having my quiet time I would fill this in and then the next day so I don't do ahead of time all I do is copy all the stuff here and now let me show you how I do copy it I'm going to just expand this a little bit so you guys can see it better and expand Saturday and Sunday. There's a little tool called a lasso tool and you kind of lasso the things that you want. So I'm going to lasso, thank you Lord, click on it, copy it, and paste. And then I'm going to do the same thing here, but I can do both at the same time, copy, paste and then I can maneuver this wherever I want it to be. See how you see my OCD-ness comes in and I can make it be very pretty. <laughs> so and I can just copy all that information to the next month and it looks pretty. So that's one way of using a bullet journaling or digital journaling. Another way is to there is a prayer journal here that I set up. I click on that and this is the same exact thing as this. I even copied the highlight, but it's the same concept. It's just that it's in digital form. This can be maneuvered and changed as I want. So this is family. I turn the page. There's friends. And again, it's the days of the week or the month. And I would just go ahead and keep going throughout the month and pray for those specific people. There's friends, ministries, and then I have a blank one that I can copy and paste this whole thing and put it in another thing and just continue my list. So that's another way of being able to start a bullet journal or a prayer journal, I should say. I hope this was helpful to you guys. It was really fun to come up with these different ways. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to comment below. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe, you may want to do that so that you can continue on in this series. Next video is going to be all about organizing and I will admit I'm extremely behind so it might be the end of May when this one comes out. We'll see. Um, but I am working on it. I will not forget. So I will see you guys in the next one. God bless.